Meanwhile, the threat is also uh, reaching Chinese President Xi Jinping's a dream project and playing it from an artificial island in Sri Lanka to a bridge in Bangladesh and hydropower projects in Nepal and Indonesia. The deadly virus is now choking China's trillion-dollar Belt and Road Plan. The outbreak has cut off Chinese labor supplies and equipment imports, and they are essential to keep major infrastructure projects across Asia running. While China itself is under a massive lockdown and has self-imposed its biggest ever social isolation campaign, more than 133 countries have imposed entry restrictions on Chinese citizens. Major construction projects across Asia that are funded by China mostly employ Chinese workers and countries are now clamping down on their availability. Sri Lanka requires a 14-day quarantine for people arriving from China and insists that Chinese staff should be restricted to construction sites and their dorms. And that is taking a toll, of course, on some of the major construction sites. Work is progressing at a snail space in Colombo's port city. An artificial island project it is the size of central London and will house one of South Asia's biggest financial centers. Nearly a third of the Chinese workers who left for the Lunar New Year holidays have not returned to work. And even if they do, the local staff naturally remains afraid to work with them. Currently, at this site, temperatures of all workers are being recorded several times a day. Masks and hand sanitizers are being distributed, also being built in the heart of Colombo with Chinese state funding, is South Asia's tallest freestanding communications tower. The scheduled opening of that tower in March has now been delayed by two months. Bangladesh also has stopped issuing visas to Chinese visitors, including workers, and that is crippling the $2.5 billion project at the southern port of Paira. About 3,000 Chinese workers are employed at the Bangladesh China Power Company. Nearly two-thirds of them had gone to China during the Lunar New Year in January, and they cannot return now. China is also building the $3.5 billion Padma multi-purpose bridge in Bangladesh, where nearly one-third of the nearly 1,000 Chinese workers are yet to return. In Indonesia, work at the China-backed hydropower plant is stuck. The project on Sumatra Island has come to a halt due to the lack of Chinese workers. Construction of the $6 billion Jakarta-Bandung high-speed rail project is set to be delayed as well. Nepal is home to more than a dozen Chinese-backed hydropower projects and many Chinese workers who left for holidays have not returned. The setback from the coronavirus threat comes as a double whammy. There was already a pushback against the Belt and Road projects in many countries. Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Indonesia all renegotiated contracts recently either to cut costs or to ensure better environmental compliances however china is still trying to downplay the impact last week china's foreign minister was questioned specifically on china-backed investments in asia and he said the outbreak will not have any negative impact that's more a case of what china is wishing for rather than a true assessment of the situation.